Well, like I said, uh, it's been a long season. Uh, we've played against each other so many times already. Um, Grand Slams, we split two by two so far this uh, this season. So it's, it's been a great season, I think. Um, but I think the last couple of matches I lost to him and I wasn't able to play at my highest level. Uh, and today I was. Um, I was very motivated to uh, to finally get the get the win again. Um, I won my first Grand Slam here in 2020, so a couple of years uh, since then. So I'm really just really happy to uh, to be able to get it again. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you. Tremendous. Who would like to start? Gemma, go ahead. Sam, let me talk to you, especially about that second set. I mean, you were behind, um, uh, but you. It seemed watching it that you found an extra energy and extra momentum. I mean, I know you said it was your best, step, but there was just another level of Sam at that point. Is that how it felt for you on court? Yeah, well, I, I think if we look at like game per game and, and point per point, I think I was ahead in a lot of the games in the second set, but eventually I, I wasn't able to, to actually take those games um, due to some unforced errors from me and also some good points from Niels. Um, but especially from, yeah, 5 3 to 5 5, it was a couple of really, really close games. Uh, where I, yeah, I just I knew I had to have confidence in my shots. Um, I knew that if I didn't have the confidence to really hit the ball, that I would probably make the mistakes again. Um, and I had a lot of confidence being able to do that, uh, even at that point. Um, so I, I, I knew I had to, I knew what I had to do. Um, and I had the confidence to do it, so I think it paid off very well. And is that something that comes from being a previous champion here? Yeah, you said it was a few years ago, but having that experience of being a champion here, having that feeling, is that kind of... That yeah, it's, that? It's, it's been a couple of years since, I, since I've since i won here, but I've been you know playing here every year, uh, especially in Louis Armstrong, playing a lot of matches the past couple of years. Uh, so I know how the court works. Uh, I've played a lot of Grand Slam finals as well, and I know if you get a chance, then you really have to take it. Um, I think I do consider myself lucky to still be able to win the second set. Um, because there were a lot, of, a lot of games where I was ahead and I ultimately didn't win them. Uh, otherwise, I think the score should have been 6-3, 6-3 for me. Um, but I knew in the end that I had to stay focused and I kind of got myself together again and managed to take it. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Hi, Sam. Uh, Victoria Chiesa from usopen.org. I'm curious, how do you feel as though your game matches up against Niels's game when you play against each other? Um, well, I think uh, you know we're both able to uh, rally really well from from behind, uh, especially on Louis Armstrong. You can go back really far. So, if we both are um, uh, patient enough, then we can have really long rallies. Um, but I think yeah, Niels does like to go forward, likes to go to the net. Uh, as soon as one of my balls is a little bit shorter, he'll come through. Um, so I think that was the most important thing for me to keep building the point up, keep yeah, just keep the ball deep. Um, and then hopefully from there, either he will make a mistake or he will put the ball short and then I'll be able to finish it off. Um, yeah. yeah. And how would you compare the Sam Schroeder of 2020 when you won here for the first time to the Sam Schroeder of today? Uh, compare? I think, um, well, I, 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 it was my first Grand Slam, so I didn't really know, especially the first match that I played on Armstrong. That was my first ever Grand Slam match. It had all the cameras around you, like 10 lines persons uh, before they had the... The other system that they use now. So I was, I think that tournament felt kind of unreal. First of all, just being able to play a Grand Slam for the first time and all the experience that comes with it on court, everything is totally different from the other tournaments that we played. Um, so I'm, I'm much more prepared now. Uh, I think my level is also a lot higher compared to them. Um, yeah, it was, I think just different players now as well. You know, Niels wasn't really uh, in the picture at that moment. Uh, compared to the Grand Slams where he's playing in now, of course. Um, but I think, yeah, at the end of the day, I think we've I've, I've played so many Grand Slams now that I know how to how it feels to play the Grand Slams, and especially the finals. It's always close matches against Neil, so I knew that I had to play my best level. Um, yeah. And I was just going to add, how much more of a challenge does it feel? Because obviously when you won your first Grand Slam, the quads were still playing round robins. There was yeah. only four of you. <laughs> now you, you've got a full draw of 16, just like the Open. Yes, it was very different because uh, I remember that I played my first match on Louis Armstrong against Dylan, uh, Dylan Alcott, and I lost like very quickly. Um, and then I played Andy Lepter and David Wagner, and I managed to win those. And then I had the final against him again, against uh, Dylan again. 
and I had taken a lot of experience from that first match to to be able to win that match. Um, so it's very different from this now. If you if you if you don't get to your level in one match, then you're out. Um, I had a couple yeah tough matches, so I, I was really happy to be able to even be in the final, and then especially to win it is just amazing to uh, to be able to see what I've been preparing for the last couple of months to you know finally see it pay off again.